What's going on everyone? Mike O back doing a PC showcase. Today I'll be showcasing my Roy Halladay autograph collection. Halladay, one of the newest electees to the Hall of Fame. Halladay had an incredible career, pitched the majority of it in Toronto with the Blue Jays, and also capped off his career in Philadelphia with the Phillies. Just unbelievable. Uh, dominated baseball for a decade and just had some incredible, unforgettable moments in Philadelphia. Let's jump right into it, starting off with the few slabbed cards I have. This is a PSA DNA Authenticated Halliday Autograph. It's on the Fleer Genuine. The card's got a lot going on, but I do think that the autograph, the signature, really pops. It works well. Overall, I really like the look of the card. Don't really love the uh, black Blue Jays uniforms, but unfortunately, Halliday did pitch in Toronto during that era. Those uniforms, man, they just didn't work. <laughs> I love the regular old, the current, and the old school Blue Jays uniforms, but man, those things were little yikes. Here's a 2005 Tops PSA DNA certified. This card also, the blue signature works really well. Really happy to have that one. Halliday, uh, man, he was, he was just so good. He dominated for that 10-year stretch. The... Postseason, no hitter, the perfect game, the Cy Youngs in both leagues. Unbelievable. Love this one here, the 2002 Tops T206. This is one of my more recent holiday pickups. Uh, this one is authenticated and slabbed with a red flip, and the signature just blends perfectly. And I love that Blue Jays uniform he's depicted in there. Just the Blue Jays should have primarily blue uniforms. Uh, I. I think this card's fabulous. I think it's just absolutely outstanding. So that's a nice one. And I like this one as well. This is a 2004 Donruss Throwback Threads. Again, PSA DNA certified and encapsulated. Blue signature works with that blue uniform, the blue on the cards. Really nice card. And whenever you have, whenever you have a card that's really light with a lot of white in the background, that's going to help the signature pop a lot. So that's something to look forward if you're uh, deciding whether a card you think looks great signed. So there's my four holidays that are slabbed. The rest, most of them are going to be archive signature series that are uh, authenticated and in the uh, little magnetic cases with the top seal. And then uh, I think I have a few that are just in magnetics. So this one right here is a tops turkey red. It's one of one, as you can see. Nice blue signature there. He was, Halliday didn't sign in a tremendous amount of products over the years, but he was in Archive Signature Series, which released right around the same time of his unfortunate death. Because I remember, like, that product came out and they're just opening it. I'm watching breaks, and some of the big breakers are like, wow, this is. It's just weird. You don't know how to react to it because, you know, it was just so fresh in the news. But he was in it, and I was able to pick some up. And this is just uh, awesome. So it's a cool card there. I like this card a lot as well, the tops. This one's actually numbered to 24, so there's a few of them out there. Definitely a card you can grab. Uh, it's signed in blue. It's nice. I like that Blue Jays uniform. So that's a cool one right there. Um, it's just hard to believe. I just think back to when that happened. I, I can't believe it was already uh, as long ago as it was. Knowing me, if you guys know my channel, if if it's if you've been around for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of Tops Allen and Ginter. So I had to make sure I got a couple holidays. Definitely wanted a Phillies version, but also a Blue Jays version. And this is one that was out there a little bit, numbered to seventeen. Now, he did sign these over a darker spot, so it's not your typical Ginter where it super pops. I mean, it still looks great, and it's still awesome. But, you know, it had been a little better if it was a card that had a little more white to it. The signature over the white would be a little better than the signature over the black, but that's still a great card. I mean, just look at that look. He looks like he's ready to go out there and throw a complete game. All right, that's it for the Blue Jays cards. The rest of these are going to be Phillies, obviously, Best known for his days in Toronto, but he certainly uh, excelled in Philadelphia as well. I mean, the postseason success he had was great. So this is probably my least favorite of all of them. This is the Sporting News National League All-Star. It's at 
out of Topps Heritage. And I mean, it's a cool card. It's just his face takes up so much of the card that I had no choice but to sign over it. Number 10 of 10. I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's just not my absolute favorite. This one is great. I actually picked this one up, oh, I don't know, about six months ago. Got it at a really good price, one of one. Uh, it's a gold parallel from Bowman product, and I think the signature looks pretty pretty good on it. Definitely a nice card, so that to me was a no-brainer. Checking that out, 2013 Bowman. This is phenomenal. Picked this up back in his playing days with the Phils. It's numbered to 99 out of Tier 1. Just an absolutely beautiful card. Great photograph of him. Uh, really love the white area for the signature. Lends to that signature pop, as I like to say. Beautiful blue signature. Just a great card. Really nice looking. And Halliday didn't sign a crazy amount, but he was in a few products over the years. So definitely happy I grabbed that when I did. There's another tier one like this one as well. That one is numbered to 50. I don't even remember. One of these tier ones I got for like 15 or 20 bucks. I can't remember. This is a couple years ago. Um, and I was just able to get it at auction at a super, super cheap price. And I'm sure at this point now, uh, yeah, I haven't looked these up, but I'm sure it's well above that price point at this point. So that's a nice card there. All right, rest of these, I think, are going to be archive signatures. No, well, a few more will, and then they're going to get to some Topps Dynasty. So this is awesome here. This one is definitely one that would hold a premium value because it's Topps Heritage. And for people who collect autographed, like, base cards, Topps Heritage is one of those primary sets. A lot of people collect Topps. I myself love to collect Allen and Ginter. Uh, but Topps Heritage, I would say, is the most popular overall. So there's not a ton of Halliday's out there. And even though it does have the stamping from Archive Signature Series, there's a lot of people that would need this card to complete a set. So I was happy to be able to grab this. Besides all of that, it's just a beautiful card. Uh, you love the old school designs, obviously, with Heritage. That's one of the key things for it. But signatures pop on them. It's a great photograph of Halliday. It's an outstanding card. Absolutely fantastic. This is one of my favorites here, Gypsy Queen. Always really enjoy the Gypsy Queen autographs. I just think they're, there's just something about them. They just blend, they're like made for autographs so well. Beautiful photo. You see how it blends into white transitions there. That allows that signature to just burst off the, burst off the card at you. I mean, it, it just looks unbelievable. That's an amazing looking card. I was really happy to have had the opportunity to pick this one up. So, awesome, awesome card there. Going back to the Allen and Ginter. Huge Ginter fan. And I love this one. 2010 Allen and Ginter. I was really thrilled to get this. You know, I had been attempting to get one of these signed for a while. I had planned on hopefully doing so. I ended up passing at the one Philly show. I didn't end up getting his autograph. And he had some private signings coming up, and I was really considering just getting it done because I knew there was a good chance he was going to find his way into the Hall of Fame. And I didn't do it. I didn't get a chance. And he actually did have a private signing coming up uh, two weeks prior to his accident. Um, so I am glad that I was able to get this Allen and Ginter uh, when I did. Uh, one of one awesome i remember guy posted it and i just i hit him with an offer right away went back and forth a little bit got it actually much cheaper than i was actually willing to spend so it it worked out well for me uh, that's one of the pinnacle pieces in my collection halliday one being one of my favorites the fact that it's a phillies card the fact that it's a ginter is just uh near perfection for an autographed baseball card for me absolutely wonderful card so that's awesome there. And then the last four are all going to be from Topps Dynasty. And the Topps Dynasty is an interesting product. It's a really nice product. Topps does an amazing job with it, but it's incredibly expensive. A case, I think, has four or five boxes, and they cost $300 per box, and you get one card. Now, most of the cards end up going for well below that price. 
It's loaded with Hall of Famers and stars. You can get hit with the occasional semi-kind of common guy where you're going to really get hammered and be lucky to get back a sixth of the price. But this is another product that came out right around uh, the end of Roy Halladay's life, unfortunately. And I had to make sure I picked up a few. So this one here is numbered 5 of 10. They do have a different, few different versions of them. You have the nice piece of relic in there. You see the lettering. You have the nice signature, beautiful image in the back. Discusses his National League Division C Series no-hitter, which I was lucky enough to be at with my brother. So that's an absolutely beautiful card. And when these came out, they were ridiculously expensive, and then they kind of cooled off a little bit during the uh, latter part of that offseason. That's when I was able to pick these up, and since then, they've definitely uh, climbed quite a bit as well. This one is also numbered to 10. Awesome looking. See that piece of relic is actually from the, from the alternate cream color old school uniform. That signature is awesome. Just so cool another one talking about the National League Division Series no-hitter. Here's one really interesting that uh, has a piece of patch also from that cream color alternate and you can actually see the jersey was signed. They bust, must have bought a signed jersey and then cut it up so it's kind of a shame. It looks like that's the Y there in a signature but it's sort of a dual autograph for Halliday. The autograph itself is pretty big on this card. You see him happy there at his introductory press conference with the Phillies. So, it's nice there. Dynastic Deed, 14K Games, 2011, joined Kurt Schilling. It's the only Phillies right-handed pitchers with two outings of at least that many whiffs in the same season. So, Halliday, when he came over, he just transitioned perfectly to the National League, to the Phillies. Had two incredible seasons. Um, his last two seasons, his last one, it was semi-injury riddled. The one before, he was all right, but not quite as good as his first two years. And here's the final autograph, another piece of relic there, piece of jersey. You know, I ha I'm no longer a huge fan of relic cards. I don't mind them occasionally, but if I do get one, I definitely want a piece of patch, and I want it to be on a card with an autograph, um, ideally. So here's another one, just a great image. Obviously, a huge, big signature, that nice piece of relic. And it's also about the 4K game. So it's an awesome, awesome card. Halliday was an awesome pitcher, had an amazing career. Uh, really happy that he was able to spend some time in Philadelphia, reach the postseason, and pitch so well, and built so many great memories for, I know, friends of mine and myself. And uh, it was awesome. I'll never forget being at that no-hitter. Just He was so good early on. I was like, wow, he's good through three. And then you get to the fourth and fifth, and you're like, all right, you notice it's a no-hitter. But you've seen so many over the years fall apart that you don't take it too seriously until you get to those final nine outs, and you're like, okay, this is a possibility. Six outs away, three outs away, and I just remember uh, – my brother hugging me after the game, and it was it was awesome. It was unbelievable to realize that you saw no hitter alone, which is amazing, and the fact that you saw no hitter in the postseason for only the second time in baseball history, just an absolutely amazing accomplishment. Congratulations to Roy Halladay and his family on his election to the Hall of Fame. Can't wait to go out there later in the year and check out that plaque. I'm certainly not going to go up for induction weekend. That's going to be an absolute madhouse. But I can get up to Cooperstown in just a couple hours from a place I have. So I will certainly be doing that. Absolutely no doubt about it. Might do it in the spring and might do it in the late fall as well. Either way, uh, just thrilled to be able to watch his career. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the showcase of these cards. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, subscribe, and have yourselves a great one.